working from home doesn't work for most, well, nearly all physicians. But taking work home does, or even taking a work call in a car. The issue is, who's within earshot? Here's a lesson that we can glean from BP and a couple of Texans. In February 2024, the U.S. SEC announced civil charges against Tyler Loudon of Houston, Texas, the husband of a BP mergers and acquisitions manager. The same day, the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of Texas announced that Loudon had pleaded guilty to criminal charges of securities fraud. As background, during the relevant time in 2023, both Mr. Loudon and his wife were working from home. His wife was an executive in mergers and acquisitions at BP, often referred to under its former name, the British Petroleum Company. The criminal and civil cases center around the allegations that Loudon overheard several of his wife's work-related conversations in the course of which she discussed BP's then pending acquisition of Travel Centers of America. It's a large chain of truck stops and travel centers. According to the allegations, Loudon then, without his wife's knowledge, purchased over 46,000 shares of travel center stock before the acquisition deal was publicly announced. Upon the subsequent public announcement of the deal, the value of travel centers stock shot up 71%, and as alleged, Loudon immediately sold all of his shares for a profit of $1.76 million. As a part of his criminal plea agreement, Loudon agreed to forfeit his illegal profit. Additionally, he faces up to five years in federal prison, as well as up to $250,000 in fines. So we can analogize from insider trading to inside voices. As interesting as that Loudon case is, insider trading isn't the point. Rather, it's the fact that an almost identical situation applies to HIPAA violations in the context of disclosures of PHI made by physicians, both orally and in the form of unsecured records, while working from home or even while taking a phone call in the car with, as in the Loudon case, a, a family member or someone else present. What policies does your group have? How are they enforced or even how could they be enforced? What does difficulty in enforcing them mean? Well, the answer is really nothing. As the World War II era poster says, loose lips sink ship.